Hello students Today we are going to learn about the northern plains The northern plains are a large stretch of level and fertile land in the northern part of India These plains are formed by the alluvial deposits of the river Indus in the northwest the river Ganga in the central part and the river Brahmaputra in the eastern part of India These plains comprise three distinct parts the Punjab Haryana plains the ganga plain and the brahmaputra plain this entire plain is drained by several rivers the major are the indus the ganga and the brahmaputra and each of them have got several tributaries which make this entire region very fertile and arable for all types of crops the plain of haryana and punjab is found in this part of india this entire plain has been a part of the Ind indus basin however most of it now lies in pakistan punjab as the name suggests comprises of five rivers starting from the indus jhelum chenab ravi and satluj now all these are tributaries of the major river indus to the west of this fertile plain lies the thar desert which extends in pakistan the thar desert is a sandy plain with numerous sand dunes it is a region of inland drainage that is though it has got a very few rivers one of it is luni river it is not able to reach the sea it gets drained in one of the salt pans which are found in the thar desert these salt span or salt water lakes are known as dhans the sambhar lake and didwana lakes are example of these salt water lakes in this picture of lake sambhar you can see the mounds of salts which have been extracted from the water and they have been kept over here they have been collected to be refined and later packed in packages and sent to our shops the luni river it is the largest river of the thar desert and it drains into a marsh which is known as the ran of kutch which is found in gujarat parts of the thar desert has become fertile because of the presence of the indira gandhi nahar or the indira gandhi canal which brings water from the river satluj the ganga plain which is an extensive part of the northern plains and it is the largest of 
the area which covers the entire northern plain it is mainly formed by the ganga and its tributaries which are joining it both from the north and the south the ganga has its chief tributary as the river yamuna and both of them originate from the mighty himalayas besides this the river has got important tributaries like the ghagra the gandak the kosi which joins the river from the north the son river is an important tributary which originates in the peninsula plateau of india the chambal the betwa also originate from the malwa plateau of central india and they are major tributaries of the river yamuna together these rivers make the ganga plain one of the most fertile and most extensive where a large number of people are residing these plains have got a very high population because of favorable temperature fertile soil very easy to communicate from one place to another and because of availability of adequate water the brahmaputra plain is in the easternmost part of the northern plains it has been formed by the brahmaputra and its tributaries which includes the tista the sankosh manas and subhansari the brahmaputra originates in tibet flows towards the east and over here the river is known as sangpo it enters india through arunachal pradesh and flows through major part of the state of assam before it joins in bangladesh with the ganga river and flows into the bay of bengal here we find the largest delta in the world which is known as the sundarban delta and this delta extends both in india as well as in bangladesh so i hope you have understood about the extensive plains of northern india so that is what we have enough time for today thank you